Success in any kind of business endeavor really requires some set of foundational beliefs or principles that you follow in order to achieve that success. And voiceover is a, well, it's a really challenging industry to succeed in. So it helps to have some sort of belief system to help you get through the tough times. I've adapted a billionaire's belief system, his 16 rules, for voiceover. Check this out. You're listening to The Dangerous Mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. You may know Bob Parsons as the founder of GoDaddy, who later sold GoDaddy for $2 billion. And what you may not know is that years before that, he sold his first company, Parsons Interactive, which he created in his basement for $64 million after coming back from the Vietnam War, wounded, and then he went and studied accounting and created a software package that, that he sold through advertisements in computer magazines on floppy disks. And that software that he created really became one of the foundational pieces of one of the most famous accounting software programs that I think a lot of us still use. So Bob Parsons is a guy who came from nothing. You grew up dirt poor and created a significant amount of success and wealth for himself. And I was very fortunate to be the co-host of Radio GoDaddy with Bob Parsons for a stretch of time. So I got to uh, hang with Bob, and he really, he really believes in these 16 rules, and he would talk about them a lot, and it really sunk in. So I, I've kind of adapted them for voiceover, for how I believe I should proceed with, with my uh, business. And so I'm going to talk about this, plus I have an extra one. I have a 17th rule, okay, that I'm going to tell you about at the end. All right, so one, get and stay out of your comfort zone. I think that's pretty obvious, right? Voiceover is a tough business, so you're going to have to expose yourself to uncomfortable moments, right? You're going to have to take risks. Well, you know, like risks like maybe auditioning for things that you don't necessarily audition for. You know, it's good to have a baseline to see where you are, but it's good to get and stay out of your comfort zone because it makes you sharp, all right? Never give up. Never give up. Right? This is a tough business. When, uh, okay, quick story. When I was graduating from Berkeley, Alan Silvestri, composer, film composer Alan Silvestri, uh, who's our commencement speaker, told the story of the first time he went to um, he conduct a orchestra, a film orchestra, uh, at school. And he goes up to the podium, the composer's podium, and scratched into the wooden surface of this ancient composer's podium in the film recording studio is the word perseverance. And he talked about that and how it made an impact on him and him talking about that and really the, the mindset of perseverance, never give up, really holds true in voiceover and in any artistic endeavor. Three, when you're ready to quit, you're closer than you think. All right? It's true. I, I can't tell you how many times that this has happened in anything that I've done creatively. Um, a lot of times you get fed up and frustrated. But you know what? The thing is, it could be that you are right on the precipice of a breakthrough. So keep pushing forward, man. Okay, with regard to whatever worries you, not only accept the worst thing that could happen, but make it a point to quantify what the worst thing could be. All right, in voiceover, the worst thing that can happen is you don't get the job. Really, it's not like you're going to uh, lose your house or lose your livelihood. But you have to look at it this way. If you've put it all on the line and voiceover is like your singular focus, you have to quantify what the worst thing that could happen really is. If this is all you're doing and it's not working out, well, you have to, you have to recognize that there could be things that happen that you don't want to happen and how you're going to react to them is important. Okay? Five, focus on what you want to have happen. Or you got to think of yourself as being successful in this business, or you're not going to succeed at all. All right? Focus on the idea, the concept that you're going to succeed, and think about what it's going to take to make sure that you succeed. Take things a day at a time. All right? One audition at a time, one job at a time. All right? The, the great thing in voiceover, the one thing I love most about this job, is that you don't really have to take it home with you. Meaning that, when after you finish a job, you can just kind of let it go, right? You don't have to carry the worries of ongoing work with you. So take things a day at a time. If you have a bad day, maybe you audition for stuff, maybe you lose a gig, tomorrow's another day. 
every day brings a whole new set of possibilities and possible gigs. So, one day at a time. Always be moving forward, okay? Whatever setbacks you may have or you may experience, that's today. But be all about what happens tomorrow, all right? Be quick to decide. In this business, right, speed is an asset. So if you are hemming and hawing over little things, go with your gut, right? Measure everything of significance. This, this is actually something, uh, a belief that I uh, kind of hold towards uh, my, my rig, my equipment. And, and this is really kind of almost a foundational rule for everything that I've done on YouTube, with these videos. Because every little tiny detail in your chain, your microphone, your preamp, your setup, your conversion, whatever, right, is significant. Because remember, the one thing that you are selling to your clients is the recorded sound of your voice. That is your work product. All right, so make sure that that's as good as it can be. Anything that is not managed will deteriorate. All right, so keep track of everything, especially stuff like, you know, don't get complacent about your sound. Don't get complacent about doing auditions. Don't get complacent about your vocal maintenance, right? Because there are going to be other people out there who are really radically into uh, making sure that they succeed, right? So if you are complacent about your success, you are going to get left in the dust. 11. Pay attention to your competitors, but pay more attention to what you're doing. All right, don't get hung up on the fact that maybe you are competing with somebody else a lot for the same kind of jobs. There was a, there was a guy who used to be on the, one of the booking services that, that, that books me a lot. And I would see this guy a lot on auditions and stuff. And so I always felt like I was competing against this guy. And then I, I realized I was stupid. I was competing against myself in my mind by doing that. So, all right, remember, okay? Don't worry about what your competitors are doing, but make sure you keep track that you're not being left behind. Never let anybody push you around. If a client says to you, hey, can you do this for, for free? You know, it, you'll get exposure. Never do anything for exposure. Remember, people die of exposure, right? Never let a client push you around. Never let a client dictate things that you don't like. If you're not comfortable with a job, walk away or don't take it. All right? So a lot of times you're, you are going to be at the mercy of a client's desire because this is a supply and demand kind of job, right? If you say no, there will be somebody else who takes that job. But don't let, don't let unreasonable expectations of clients dictate your uh, delivery and your behavior, right? Never expect life to be fair. I don't have to explain this at all. Solve your own problems, all right? That's what I mean by learning your rig, learning all of your equipment, learning how to do this yourself, all right? It's okay to call in uh, for help, but really, you know, a lot of the time, Figure stuff out yourself. You will be so happy that you took the time to figure stuff out for yourself. 15, don't take yourself too seriously. All right? <laughs> Enough said. And 16, there's always a reason to smile. You know why? Because voiceover is the greatest gig of all time. If you're doing voiceover any day, I saw, I saw an interview with some actor. I think it was, it was, um, I think it was Anthony Mackie from, uh, you know, Marvel. So, um, I remember him saying that he, he had gone to an audition somewhere and he had passed another actor and uh, he was, they, they, they were actually reading for the same part. So he passes the other actor in the parking lot over at Paramount. And uh, the guy was like, he was saying, hey, I'm, I'm probably not going to get the part. And the other actor was like, oh, well, that's, that sucks. You kind of wasted your day. And he said, no, man, you know, any time I'm doing any acting, any day I get to do any acting is a great day. Any day that you get to do any voiceover is a great day, all right? So there's always a reason to smile if you're doing voiceover. All right, rule number 17. This also comes from Bob Parsons, but this isn't part of the official 16 rules. But this one I think is really important, okay? Now remember this one. The obstacles in your life do not prevent you from living your life. The obstacles in your life are your life, all right? Tell me what you think of the 16 plus one rules for voiceover.
as based on the 16 rules of success by Bob Parsons. All right, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.